Ebusiya mwa kwa ba eba GW1 TV Mpacho onyan subscribe ya Nwa yane fast na Wa subscribe ya Nwa sana follow ya Oda social media platform Sede ba ya Video biya tuma Wonsa bit miya kana Wonsu su wati miya enjoy Ebusiya Abra wosa mwa yen sa E kan fi na jiwi Anese Emran tiya na ibiya Apo si fo en sa Aka omu Anese Omu mwa se Omu kuta Kuku biya Na sebe Kuku nu Be anadro 3 am En omu mwa se Sa amran ti Edi kuku yi Ene nene na monten So ni adi na Ni pa omu ontem kono ebo pini emranti e madre sa ombe rezi alam ama aposi fo e ba ya no omu ontem yanti ni pa fo ni yina ba kon e jani ema omu ti ni pa miyan sa omu konfesi e se poto na yekufi mwa se e ni pe ti e no mo tra mo tra baba wabi ti no mo de ni ti no e nene body pass ni bi e de e gwa di ni mo mo ja e ta hon nyasa mke tuwa na omu to tuwa mano no omu ti ni mo se a baba wabi e na e suma omu se omu ontem kutra sa e tiri no fambe na sa a baba wano a bra wasa mwa se o 20 years na 20 years ati miya suma sa boys 4 wii se omu kungu kwe treno emfa mna na onon somfa nye ni noma na ufye mwe esi kadru ya na emranti ya ni pese omu de e ino e kwa kwe na nipo bako ujwani ya omu lonche investigation serious one enya se ketua nya mencha adi omu sa ka branti na omu so awabidi abayi se mwa so one of the nigerian state ni miso na po 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 na abusia yako na yangu kwenye sisi de video ni yeye mranti yano ni kwa hisi yangu ni mmoja 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 at about 3 a.m. This rose their suspicions and they quickly uh, lodge complaint at our division, divisional headquarters in Adaton. Upon the information, the DPO Adaton division quickly led his men to the scene where three of the suspects were arrested. The fourth one escaped. On interrogation, the three arrested one confirmed to us that what they are burning is a woman head. And they confessed that the head belongs to a lady simply known as uh, uh, Sophia Kennedy, a 20 year old girl. And that the, 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 the deceased happened to be a girlfriend to one of them by name Solu. It was this solid that lured the girl to an abandoned building where they skewed the neck of the victim and after killing her, they used a cutlass to cut off the head. When after cutting off the head, they packed the remaining dismembered body of the victim into a sack and dump it in an uncompleted building. The three of them were taken to the, to the station and uh, on, it, on the further interrogation, they made us to, to, to realize that they want to use it for money-making rituals. Having gotten the information, the Commissioner of Police, Ogun State Police Command, C.P. and Rebankoli, directed that the escaped one must be hunted for because none of them none of them must go unpunished following the cp directive the dpo and his detective launched a very serious manhunt for my and uh, in about two or three hours we are able to get him arrested in his hideout the four of them they are here they have confessed to the crime. The port you are seeing in front of them, that is the port they use in burning the head of that innocent young girl who was cut down in her prime. Simply because some people want to get rich quick. It's a very, very disturbing incident. Because this can only be described as the superlative degree of callousness. It is despicable, and uh, 
it is barbaric. At this, at this time, this dead age, for somebody to see half it in mind that until they use the life of a human being like them before they can get, they can get money. And also, what is it that a 17-year-old boy, a 19-year-old boy, 18-year-old boy, what is it that they want to use money for that will lead them to this type of heinous crime? It's still, it's still beyond the comprehension of any normal human being. I want to advise that many parents have failed in their responsibility.